Hello, today's lesson, uh, moving on from the Mariana Trench, we're going to have a look at a na another naturally occurring phenomenon of our planet, and that is geysers. So there's a couple of videos that you're going to watch today. It is really great to let someone else explain to you what they are and to see them in action. Um, so I've got two films. There are um, quite a few. I'll put three on the website for you. Um, the one at the end will give a really good explanation about how they work, which is what I want you to use um, for your piece of writing today. Um, so I'm just going to skip over the videos. Um, you stop, have a look, come back when you're ready, and I'll quickly explain the task. Okay, so hopefully you um, have learned something about geysers. Um, what I have for you here is part of a knowledge organiser um, that has a few pictures and a few um, vocabulary at the side. Um, so some of the things that you might have heard in those videos, we've got a conduit, which is a channel for conveying water or other fluid. If you can remember back to our volcano lessons last week, um, a conduit is where the lava flows up through um, from the reservoir up through the um, throat and mouth of the volcano to the vent. Um, quite similar for a geyser as well. Um, crust we know is the outer, outermost rocky outermost layer of the earth. Um, something is ejected, it's thrown out or gotten rid of. Um, we know about eruptions and erupting. Um, geyser, the actual uh, definition is a noun, it's the name for a natural hot springs that sometimes erupt with water or steam. Hot spring, a small flow of water flowing naturally from an underground water source heated by hot or molten rock from beneath the ground. Magma, we know, is the molten rock or partially melted, really hot um, liquid below the Earth's surface. Um, molten means it um, has once been solid and it's been turned to liquid. Uh, permeable means it allows liquid to or gas to flow through it. Um, something that seeps means it sinks slowly through or flows slowly through. Um, steam is the gas um, water vapour given um, off from water as it's heated and temperature, the degree of hotness or coldness measured by a thermometer, and that can be in um, Celsius or in Fahrenheit. So, using some of this vocabulary, or as much of this vocabulary as you can, um, and I've also put some images coming up on the next few slides. What I would like you to do today is to draw me a, a geographical diagram of a geyser, uh, giving a brief description of how they work. You have done a fair bit of writing already this week. Um, so this one, just a brief description. Um, use pen and paper or a Word document or a PowerPoint. It is up to you. And as always, I'd like you to upload your learning to the shared folder. Um, which does come to both of us, by the way. I've had a conversation with some of you this week and saying it's going all to Mrs. Cox. It's not. We've shared the folder, um, so I've got access to it as well. Um, or you can email some files to us at our year six email address. OK, so what I would like you to do is to draw me a picture below the surface and label some of the parts of the geyser um, with some information. This last film here gives really good clear definition of how it um, how it works. So you might want to come out if you can't remember something and have a look at this one as well. Um, and yeah, we'll look forward to seeing your work. Well done, see you later. Oh, there's more. Uh, there is also some pictures of um, that you might want to use as your model.